is Phil Hillary. I'm an assistant curator of zoological operations here at Bush Gardens. And this is our, uh, for us, the keystone to the whole ride, this is our snake habitat. And it integrates the mythology of the snake ride with the snake king, uh, center, front and center, and it mixes it with the real life snakes. Um, you'll see five different species, or sorry, five different individuals, four different species, uh, around this display. Uh, we use their natural behaviors and incorporated elements to the display to exhibit those natural behaviors. So, as you can see, the, the male, Jameson's mamba, is actually just crawling around. Uh, he followed this uh, simulated vine over to that porthole. Uh, and then the female mamba is just actually hanging out on that, on that simulated vine right there. Uh, but they are arboreal, so you find them in the trees or on vines. Um, and then the other element to this is our low-lying snakes, our rhinoceros viper, which is down in that little light port, soaking up the rays from the UVA ball, UVA, UVB ball. And then our gaboon viper, which is a beautiful specimen right here, um, showing their ambush predator capabilities. They will sit in leaf litter, which you almost can't even see them when they're in perfect camouflage and leaf litter. Uh, and they'll wait and ambush their predator or their prey. And then our last one is our Angolan python, which is right there in the candle. So those are our those are snakes in this habitat. They're they're all getting along very very well. We we couldn't be happier with how the display has come out and how the snakes have integrated not only to themselves uh, but also the display. So how long have you been in this habitat? So they've been in this habitat for a couple of weeks now. Uh, we've had them on property for a number of months, and in that process they went through a quarantine process where we made sure that they were healthy animals uh, because they did come from other facilities. We always do a health check. Um, and then they were also in that process slowly introduced to each other before they were introduced on the habitat uh, all as one unit. But this habitat is a really cool display in that we can change the elements. It's not a static display. We have light elements like you saw over there, heat elements that only emit heat, and then also our spotlights up top which would simulate the sun uh, for their basking spots. We can change all of those elements and make this a very dynamic display uh, and actually change it so much that it's never the same display twice. So it, it's fun for us as uh, zookeepers and zoo professionals that we can enrich our animals, uh, but it's also neat for them because it's it's a different world every time we change it around. Change it around. Yeah, they seem to be getting along. So yeah. Now uh, earlier, I wish you could have seen it. The Angolan python climbed up over top of the Jameson's mamba and went up into his hole, which is is up there in the top right. Um, the mambas being so fast and, and very, very venomous, we are training them to shift by themselves. We open up the shift doors and we give them a cue, and they know that it's time to come in and get their prey item, which is their positive reinforcement. And then we can close them off and it keeps it safe for them. They can eat in, in peace uh, by themselves, but it also allows us to access the habitat without these very fast, very venomous arboreal snakes.